I was a reservist. I was doing military part-time. Been working at the Pentagon. A buddy of mine pulled me up to Cyber Command uh, and said, hey, I need some help with this exercise called Cyber Flag. Cyber Flag, it's based on an aviation exercise built out of uh, Vietnam. One of the lessons learned is that if you survived the first 10 combat missions, your chance of success going forward went up exponentially. So we try to replicate that, hence the name Cyber Flag. So it's traditional red v. blue. Um, the adversary emulators perform their operations as the uh, enemy would. And it's a great proxy, if you will, for the fir first 10 cyber commissions. What I have been able to help out in not only that effort, cyber flag, was how do you take a mature domain, as I'll call it, and duplicate that in the this, this cyber realm? From there, we were able to stand up a number of exercises that not only focused on defending military assets, we worked on how do you defend the nation, critical infrastructure, and other things. And that set the well, that's the baseline, um, the, the foundation for uh, Project C, this test effort that I spoke of. What is the right way to organize a defensive team? What is the right tools to use? How to use those tools? Um, and the general effort, again, is to prepare the military. But um, beyond that, how can you solve cyber, cyber defense in general? Our platform can be used not only to evaluate the preparedness of their teams, um, the competence of their uh, tool investments or technology, evaluate risk in general. The next focus on the company is to take what we've done to date, which has largely been focused on training for the military, build on that. We're going to continue to train in the private sector. We're also going to push into new ways to conduct more appropriate data-based, data-driven uh, product testing, which will then ultimately get to evaluate risk for a company or an organization.